Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Adi Alahan almost died on Coronation Street due to carbon monoxide poisoning. Fortunately, Amy Barlow became concerned when she couldn't get an answer from Adi at his flat and broke in to discover him unconscious on the sofa. Adi was transported to the hospital, where a doctor diagnosed what had happened and indicated that he was extremely fortunate to be alive. This clearly came as a tremendous shock to Adi's family, especially Father Dev and twin sister Asha. After Adi is released from the hospital, Dev insists on seeing him at home, saying he will not let him return to the place where he nearly died. Asha informed her brother that she and girlfriend Nina Lucas, Molly Gallagher, have split up and Nina has moved out. Adi is extremely remorseful because he and Nina kissed soon before he became ill. This occurred after Asha accused Nina of reporting paramedic Isla to her supervisors for having an inappropriate interest in Asha, claiming she was envious. Adi and Nina kissed after their argument with Amy. Although they both vowed to never mention the kiss again and recognized it was a mistake, Adi was eventually obliged to confess to Asha about what had transpired. So in a subsequent episode, when Asha informs him that Nina has moved out, he blames himself. It turns out that Asha, too, is keeping a guilty secret. As she helps her brother pack up his flat, he discovers a bracelet on the floor, the one he gave Asha for her birthday. He cannot figure out how it got there. Viewers are aware that Asha called to confront Adi about Nina, and when she arrived, he was asleep on the sofa. She flung the jewelry at him and stormed out. Asha feels terrible now that she realizes her brother wasn't asleep, but rather unconscious. Will she come clean about abandoning him to die? Asha Allahan of Coronation Street is forced to come clean about her failed opportunity to save her twin brother Adi in Monday's episode. Asha is put on the position when Adi discovers that she visited his flat but failed to assist him when he needed her. Last week, Adi fell ill at home owing to a carbon monoxide leak. Asha paid him a visit and mistakenly assumed he was inebriated, so she chose not to intervene or raise an alert. Fortunately, Amy Barlow quickly saw that something was amiss and made sure that Adi was taken to the hospital. In Monday's episode, Adi prepares to leave the hospital and considers returning to her flat. Dev, the teen's father, intervenes and insists that Adi cannot return to the flat. Adi has consented to move back in with Dev and Asha. Asha agrees that Adi's return is timely. Given the house is empty following her breakup with Nana Lucas, who has recently moved out, Adi regrets his involvement in creating the breakup. Later, struggling with her own guilt over previous occurrences, Asha assists Adi in packing up his flat. Adi is perplexed as to where the bracelet he purchased for Asha as part of their recent birthday celebrations has gone. This doesn't add up because he wasn't aware of Asha's visit to his flat after delivering the gift. Asha is forced to acknowledge that she called when Adi passed out on the couch, but misread the situation in her rage over Nina and did nothing to help. How will Adi react? Paula Lane captivated the nation's hearts as Kylie Platt on Coronation Street but she is now ready to join Emmerdale eight years after Kaylee's terrible death. The actress is going to play a girl named Ella who immediately makes a friendship with Dale's star Mandy Dingle. She's a fantastic friend to have, Paula explained, and they instantly have this spark, and it grows from there. Despite having only recently begun, Paula immediately feels at home in Emmerdale, since she said that the set is close to her hometown. I think I'm going to really fit in here. It works for my family. We are based in Hebden Bridge, so as an actor, that's fantastic. Even though I've only just arrived in the area, I already feel at home. Sorry this video is no longer available, so just creating a fresh new character, that's what's going to be extremely crucial for me going forward, is that I construct something that's going to be completely different from what people saw eight years ago, can you believe? I believe enough time has gone to spread out and be recognized as something else. Paula, who left Corey eight years ago, went on to explain why it was the appropriate moment for her to take on a new serial role. I'm always a firm believer in going with what's in front of you, and the last seven years have been really fascinating. I mean, I've done a lot of theater, traveled a lot, raised a family, and been in a number of television shows. 
So when you're such a known face, I think it's good to give the viewers a break, and I feel like I've changed personally as well. So I believe a significant amount of time is gone, and I believe that's healthy. Do you want to be the first to hear shocking EastEnders spoilers? Who is leaving Coronation Street? What's the latest Emmerdale gossip? Metro.co.uk is now on WhatsApp, delivering all the latest developments and current stories directly to your phone, ensuring you never miss a storyline again. Paula claimed that she did not have to audition for the role of Ella, but that it came to her very naturally. I believe I manifested it. And then a conversation occurred, which resulted in the planting of a seed, and the miracle happened. So I believe that was merely a coincidence, but it landed into my lap, and I'm very grateful and thankful. As I already stated, I simply want to do my best. Sarah Platt firmly puts Adam Barlow in his place in Coronation Street, reminding him that young Harry is not his child. Adam's jealously and rage lead to the conflict. Damon expressed a desire to reconnect with Sarah upon his return to Weatherfield. Sarah eventually agrees to allow him to meet the family again. Damon visits his brother Harvey in prison before heading to the bistro for drinks. As the siblings clash, Harvey's remark regarding Sarah enrages Damon. Just as Damon is led away by prison officers, it becomes clear that Dee Dee is also in the visiting room, watching the entire scenario occur. In this new video, Damon arrives at the bistro to greet Gail, Audrey, and Nick. He turns on the charm, which does not impress the Platts, but Adam interrupts Damon's attempt to get his feet under the table, telling Sarah that her new boyfriend has gone to see his brother. Adam angrily declares that he does not want Damon at the flat when Harry is around, but he is saddened when Sarah tells him that the small boy is not actually his child. He's horrified, he's enraged, and he's going to exact glorious retribution, actor Sam Robertson explained. In an attempt to get rid of his new adversary, Adam pays Harvey a visit and pretends to have reviewed his papers and believes he has a strong case for an appeal. Do you want to be the first to hear shocking EastEnders spoilers? Who is leaving Coronation Street? What's the latest Emmerdale gossip? Metro.co.uk is now on WhatsApp, delivering all the latest developments and current stories directly to your phone, ensuring you never miss a storyline again. Harvey, not one to be taken for a ride, warns Adam that if he fails to meet his expectations, he may become a victim of the hitman who would deal with Damon. According to Sam, Harvey's threats are insufficient to scare Adam away. He's very serious about getting rid of Damon. He's all in now and appears unrepentant. He has no concerns about what he's doing. He is concerned about particular aspects of the ruse, but his overarching goal remains unchanged. He wants Damon gone as soon as possible. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.